Hi, I'm Katie Quintana. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a top 25 chapter books. Now these are from beginning till, I don't know, I want to say mid-range, but I don't know what mid-range means. So definitely, so I say up to like pre-teen age, like depending on how good your child is reading, I will be doing one that is more a pre-teen geared chapter book list. So if you want a little, if you look at this list and it's a little too easy for your child, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications so you know when my next video comes out because those chapter books will be a little bit harder and geared towards a little bit better readers. So here are my first 25 chapter books geared towards the newer chapter book reader. All right, these are going to be the easier chapter books. Um, I don't have a lot of super easy ones. My first two recommendations I actually don't have pictures of. They are from Usborne Books. So if you know Usborne Books, then you know they're kind of a direct sales company. So I will link you to them so you can see them. You can buy directly through that site or you can find a consultant in your area and buy from them if you're interested in those books. That series is uh, Billy B and then there's a Hey Jack. So this is the older version of the Billy B. So this is a step up from what the easier version is to give you an idea. So the other ones are quite a bit easier. They really are beginning chapter books. So that is Hey Jack and um, Billy B. Then I'm gonna to try to give you these kind of in order of easiest to hardest of just what we have that we're recommending. recommending. Um, I will link the other books um, on Amazon if I can find a link on Amazon for them so you can easily find them. But all the Magic Treehouse are really easy. They start at number one is going to be the easiest and as they go up, they get a little bit harder so that your kid is progressing in reading. So this is number 11 to give you kind of an idea. Number one is easier than this. So, but there is a lot of them out and they do progressively get harder, which I really like. Then we have Flat Stanleys. So these are also really easy. They have some great pictures. It's just a fun little character that's different than what you'll, you usually see in a lot of books. So the kids stay interested in Flat Stanley. Then next will be the Osborne book, the Billy B mysteries that are a little bit harder. So you already saw kind of the level of that. Next is another Osborne book. It's Ella Diary. So there's a series of these. Um, and they're just like her little diary. So there's fun little um, photos throughout. Sometimes she uses a photo as a word and she describes things really fun. So these are interesting ones that are wrote differently than a lot of the books that they will have been reading at this level. So next is The Haunted Library. My daughter just kind of thinks it's fun. It's not scary at all because she really doesn't like scary stuff. So, but... It's a pretty easy read too. Then we have Zoe's Rescue Zoo. So if your child is interested in animals like mine, they'll probably really like this series. There's lots of different animals that are doing silly things and going on adventures and, you know, rescuing animals. So it's really cute. The next is another Osborne book. It's Penny Dreadful. These ones are fun because they are still a fairly easy read, but they are teaching a lot of good vocab. So there's going to be words in here that they might not know very well. That does make it a little bit harder read, but it is expanding their vocabulary and introducing them to these words so that they'll be able to read them when they get to harder books. Then we have Geronimo Stilton. My daughter is really liking these. They're, they're really an easy read for her, so she gets them done in like, I don't even know, an hour or two. But um, they have lots of different colors and you know they make the words fun and draw attention and keep the kids entertained in the story more that way, I think. So those ones are good. There's a lot of them out. Then this is another Osborne book series. Um, it is the Bear Grylls Adventures. My daughter loves these. She likes all of the, like the I Survive type books, which are I will talk about later. But this Bear Grylls is a little bit easier than some of the other adventure stories that you will find. And if you know who Bear Grylls is, you will know that he has lots to teach you on survival skills. So this is a fun one for 
the kids to kind of learn some skills while reading. And then we have the Clementine books. There's a lot of different ones of these. Um, my son actually likes to listen to these on audio right now since he can't actually read them on his own yet. So they are a good story for even the younger ones to listen to on audio books if that is something you're looking for. My son is six, so he likes these stories. Then we have another Usborne book series. This is called EJ12. So it is a girl who is a spy in her you know secret life so it's kind of fun a lot less pictures definitely more um of an older text you know because we're code breaking and things like that so it's kind of geared a little bit towards the older kids that are starting to really get into the story versus just wanting entertainment from pictures and things then we have this series, Upside Down Magic. My daughter thinks it's really fun. It's all about kids whose magic isn't working right and they're having to, you know, kind of learn what they're doing wrong. All right, next is um, Magic Treehouse. More So these are like the fact checkers and they have like research ones. They are harder reads. That's why I kind of put them further away than the initial Magic Treehouses. So they will go into more detail. They still have a lot of the pictures and fun things and wrote in a fun way. Um, but it is a little bit harder to read, mostly because it's going to have all the facts. So you're going to have harder words and just things that are harder to understand. But also um, names of people and places and things that are going to be harder to pronounce and might be frustrating if you have an early reader trying to read it. Then next we have the I Survive series. There's so many of these and they're all very interesting. They hold the kids' attention. Um, they like they have a couple pictures, but really not much. Um, but it's a good transition from the early chapter picture books to more of, you know, just word chapter books. And they tell a great story and hold their attention. Next, we actually read this book for a book club and it was so cute that we have kept it and we really like it. So it's called A Mouse Called Wolf and he plays the piano and stuff. So actually this is an easier read than some of the others. I should have had it up further. I forgot how easy it was. Um, so yeah, I would say that's probably easier than even maybe Clementine and stuff. So it's a cute one though. Then this is another Usborne book. It's their Extreme Adventures. Um, this is book number five of the series, but it's all kind of like the I Survive type thing where they're having to learn survival skills and get out of dangerous situations. So very captivating. Then we have this Heroes in Training. It is comparable to Percy Jackson, but on an easier level. So if your kid is interested in those kind of fantasy stories, these are easier. And again, this one might be a little bit easier to read than maybe a couple of the others I've showed. I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to tell. And I haven't read every single one of these. I'm kind of going by my daughter's suggestions. So you'll have to kind of look through just the glimpse that I gave you and decide if your kid's ready for it or not. And then we have the American Girl series. So there's a lot of different books in this collection. They are great. They go in depth on one girl's life and what it's like to be there. So it is very much, um, we use them as school for historical fiction to teach history and things. It gives them a good glimpse into life and culture and things like that. So we really like the American Girl books. Then we have these books like the where is and who is. And so they have pictures and they're pretty easy reads. Um, some of them are just a little bit harder because of, again, locations and name pronunciations and topics like that, or topics that might be a little bit harder to understand. Um, but they are very good and there's so many of them out there. You can find ones on tons of different people and tons of different locations and things. So those are good ones. Then we have a lot of just the old classics. I have these as the junior classics for young readers. So, um... We have The Wind in the Willows is a really good one to start on these with your kids. My daughters 
favorite right now is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. She's read it a number of times and it is just one of her very favorite books. But then we also have um, Anne of Green Gables and A Little Princess are some of the ones that I recommend the most for this age group. All right, if you liked this video and it was helpful for you, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. I do have videos out on my baby and toddler suggestions, um, also on just elementary storybook suggestions. And like I said, I will be doing one on harder chapter books. So keep checking back for those. Some of them are, like I said, some of them are already out and the chapter book one is coming. So make sure you subscribe if you're interested in those. Thanks.